so I've been drawing this lily, um, which as you can see is sitting right in front of me for reference. And I wanted to make a quick video about working with um, the white Prismacolor pencil. So you can see I've got like a base color for the flower and the leaves. And what I've started doing once I'm pretty much finished with the coloring um, is going in and adding these white highlights to sort of make this pop a little bit, right? And um, people have asked, you know, how do you get that to show up? But it's actually the wax of the colored pencil that lays on top of the marker color, right? So it's really easy to do. The only caveat um, that you have to watch out for is that once you color this in, especially a solid white section like this, um, is the wax will prevent the marker color from laying on there. So you want this to be one of the last steps of the drawing um, because you won't, it won't be easy to color over it again with the marker. Right, so all I'm doing is basically choosing little highlight areas and sort of going over it with a really thin white line. But it makes the colors pop a little bit, especially if it's right next to a thick black line. Right, so I always sort of try to do that um, in really colorful drawings because I like the way it looks. And basically to shade the white, like I'm pushing really hard right here at the end, and then I'm not applying as much pressure in here, right? So it sort of fades out on its own. Right, and so I'm basically just gonna do that for all of the leaves, and then this bud, obviously. So one of the last things I'm gonna add, the flower in reality has some spots in the petals, and I don't have those added yet. Um, so I still need to add that. Um, but again, I just wanted to really quickly show how you can get some nice highlights um, with this colored pencil. And um, yeah, it's basically just one color, right? I just use the white pencil and just add the highlights where you think it's needed. And um, it really makes a big difference. Okay, thanks.